Good day and welcome. I assume you can read, and therefore you know exactly what this is. Clonoa. Draw to Phantomile. That was for those of you who can't read. You should learn how. It's rad. So I was running through my old games looking for something to do, and I found this one, and I was like, oh, I love this game so much. So, so much. You're about to see why. I mean, just look at that. Butterflies are rad, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can tell that I like this already. So we've got a cat, person, rabbit thing. It wears a pants with the belt. And also another giant belt instead of a shirt. Yeah. Oh, wait, is that a collar? Oh, it's only taken me 17 years to figure that out. Mm. Okay, good. So it turns out it's not as stupid as I thought. Just in case you're wondering what's happening, just don't worry about it. It's like. Everything is good. Everyone skipping through the fields. The whimsy. Oh, the whimsy. I love it so much. Everyone was happy and everything was good. Until darkness consumed all the world. The end. No, really, it's the end. Watch. Darkness consumed them all. The end. This scene totally reminds me of Parappa the Rapper for some reason. But don't worry, it was all a dream. Woo! Isn't that not adorable? The face thing. The voice acting's also good. Wait, let's do it. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. He's like, yeah! Bind me within your evil magical ring. Woo! So yeah, I did mention this came out 17 years ago. And if you're familiar with it, then you know that. Otherwise, you don't. Oh, crap. I can't believe I walked into that. <laughs> I was trying to... Do it. Damn it! Okay, I was gonna show off being a cocky cock and show off how good I am, but. No, okay, shit. Apparently I suck. No, I really suck. I swear I'm really better than this. It's like playing it just before this level and I just blazed through it. I was really good. Really good. We've, we've stopped being bad now. Right now, everything's gonna go bad now. Sit back and enjoy the game. It's rad. I may have already said this. So, yeah, it's basically all these adorable monsters are uh, evil nightmares. So you shouldn't feel bad about the fact that I blow them up into like gigantic size and then explode them. Explode them. All over the place. Damn, I'm doing good now. Oh the man. This guy's far more impressive if you assume that those things that are actually his ears are his arms. Seriously, look at them. Assume those are his arms. He looks pretty butch. Can you imagine being the voice actor for this? 
It's like, here's your lines. You might be embarrassed, but then they gave me my money and I was all fine with it. Anyway, that was important for the story. So let's continue. A merry way. This is the first level and it's basic and pretty shit, so you should totally stick around and watch you know upcoming stuff. Which is coming up. Yeah. You should watch that. Also my other videos, go watch those too. Usually better than this. Um, but yes. Continuing. Split parts, various doodads, invincible monsters. You can already see why this game is fantastic. And if I weren't talking over it, you'd also be enjoying the fantasticness of the music. Quite possibly you're enjoying it anyway. Quite possibly you're sitting there going, shut the hell up. Trust me, I understand you. Run through this, I'm pretty sure I can get this done in under 8 minutes. That's including the intro sequence of the FFA. Yeah. Speed run. Not that that's hard. If I'm making it look easy, it's because it is. Playing a kids game, come on, what do you what do you expect? <laughs> and done! Yeah. I'm so proud of myself for some reason. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. You can see the number of people that are rescued in each land and then they play music for me. And then these dudes. And confetti. It's all good. Anyway, coming up in the next episode. The second part of this level. Yeah, it'll be great. And also, I've been practicing my old-timey reporter voice, so... For the intro. Oh, it's a treat. You should look forward to it, maybe.